through Syracuse, New York, day two of driving, you can't get to upstate New York from Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. We went through five states yesterday. Rolling up here to the St. Lawrence River to get a little tune up for the final tour event of the year. It's been a long season. We wanted to end it on a big, small mouth exclamation point at Champlain. You can't get any further from my house than I am sitting right here right now. Like 19 hours from my driveway. And that's pretty fitting for the last tournament of the year. And I don't really know what to think about it. The season's been like this. We talked about that at Chickamauga a little bit and made a cut there. Unexpected, made a cut. Hoping that the same thing happens this week because you know, Sam and I were talking about it yesterday, it was the last practice day of the season. That's kind of crazy. Think about, you know, it's it's June and we're done. You know, we're gonna be finished for the year and it's bittersweet every year. You're exhausted, you're tired, you run hard all year. And so it's kind of a relief when it's over. You're like, dang, I can, I can rest, I can hang out with family. But at the same time, you don't want it to be over because you always want another chance, especially this year because it's just, it's it's been a lot of bad, you know, and, and mediocre and it's not been a lot of great. We've had fun, and it's supposed to be fun, but it's it's still, it's, it's gut-wrenching sometimes. So up here in New York, Lake Champlain, last time we were here in 2016, I call them pretty good. Um, love this lake, but this week's been rough. It's fishing different than, than I saw it in 2016. It's fishing different than a lot of guys have seen it. Not as many bites for me but they're still going to catch them. These guys are going to catch them. They always do. I've got a couple of deals figured out coming out of practice. One sight fishing for smallmouth, the other's fishing for largemouth. And that's the beauty of this lake. You can do both. Um, the thing is just not getting too spread out and capitalizing on all your bites that you get that are above three pounds because that's like gold here. So hoping to close it out on a, on a good note. You know, I can't make the cup. That's you know, something you don't really want to think about that you're not in contention, but so this week's all about one thing and that's fun. And then it's about getting back home to my family that's put up with this all year um, on the traveling circus. So here we go, one more. Last first day of the season. It feels like we just started at Sam Raven. It feels like it shouldn't already be here. It's blown by and um, I don't really know what to think. I'm always excited. You've always got a chance on day one, that's for sure. And practice wasn't too great, but I've got a game plan. And sometimes I don't even have a game plan. <laughs> so <laughs> we're gonna see, I'm gonna let I've said this so many times this year, I'm going to let the day dictate what I do. I'm going to start on some smallmouth that I found on the bed. I don't have very many. And then take it from there. I'm going to go largemouth fishing a little bit. Got a couple of largemouth deals. So going to try to go by the seat of my pants and see where it gets us today. Traveling Circus, last first day of the 2019 FLW Tour season. Let's go. I think the little one. Might be a keeper. Hmm. Might be a trip to the hospital waiting to happen. All them treble hooks. Well, my boys, but Ryder especially, he calls them treble hooks. <laughs> it's crazy. It's like the most obscene place for one to sit ever. But no, no, we don't want your jerk bait, Donnie. Yeah, I see it through me. It's 
tail's thumping. It'll bite pretty quick. Swim off. No, it didn't. It's gonna bite pretty quick. Got it. Don't jump. Stop. You're so mean, man. There we go. In the mouth. Old Ned's an ugly little sucker, but he catches him. Number one, that ain't big enough to keep it, I don't think. But it's fun. No. Nope. In deep beds, it's hard to tell sometimes. And now, because I talk so much crap about him, golly. You hold him way up, way out there. He looks big enough. There's another bed right there, Bones. What are we doing? Well, we're switching gears. Um, I had a plan to catch about 15 pounds of smallmouth off the bed, but per usual with smallmouth, uh, and Lake Champlain, they had different plans. The water got dirty in one of my areas, and dirty is a relative term here, but some of them were bedding in seven, eight, nine feet, and even with that flogger, which helps me break through the, you know, the water so I can see, I, I still couldn't see. So uh, I'm fixing to run up the lake to a big bay that a lot of largemouth live in, and I'm fixing to go up there and, and live up there for the next few hours. And, See what happens. So I'm digging out the largemouth crap because I didn't have enough rods out. So now I want to make sure the front deck doesn't look like I'm confused. I try to make it look like that, you know. I want everybody to think they still got a chance. You know you're good when a muscle claps onto your Carolina rig weight and won't give it back. Look at this. I don't know what to do with this. Look at that. The damn thing ain't my Carolina. <laughs> he ate three dollars worth of tungsten weights. I wish I could at least crack him open and eat him, but nasty, trashy son of a gun. Dude, he won't give it back. <laughs> I swear. This is, this is the dumbest thing I ever seen. I wish I had some cocktail sauce and a hammer. Well, whoever catches this, you're going to think it's a pearl in the middle of it, but it's a dry gum tungsten weight and bead and swivel combo. God money. <laughs> Look at that. Dude, you get me some dry gum. Ah, that's a shell cracker, dude. You get me some batter and some grease. I'll go to the cabin. Hilarious. I was like, what was that behind my bait? <laughs> little. I think it's little. Feels good up here, but I don't think it's I don't think it's a good one. I think it's a little one. No. Crap no. Good gosh. That's the meanest creature God ever made right there. That's meaner than a rattlesnake. That's like a 14 inch. I'm gonna measure him anyways, but I mean Yeah. 14 and a freaking quarter. Whip my butt like an eight pounder. That's a rock bass. He 
he's just talking and I'm just acting like it ain't happening. Well, I'm good at catching small stuff. Leapfrog Sammy big time. up with him. Oh no, he got me wrapped. I got him out. There we go. That's a good right there, buddy. Oh, what's got him some beat up? All right, there we go. Marine Pro. This event presented by TH Marine. Hey, careful. Mr. Luke Duncan. Careful with the word pro right now. Oh. <laughs> it's been that kind of day. Uh oh, Bubba. I've got five kids at home that are awesome, and one day they're going to give me grandkids. I just know it, you know. And they're going to ask me, my grandkids, one day, what's the scariest thing that ever happened to you? I'm going to say, when I drove 19 hours and didn't catch a lemon at Champlain. <laughs> <laughs> One of his worst memories he can think of. Man. Exactly. Dude, I'll tell you what. You're not the only man. Oh, right? I know. Jimmy Houston didn't catch one. Hey, he's my hero, so that's okay. Exactly. See, you're Thank just you, Jimmy. in line to be like Jimmy. Yeah, I'll be 160 now. Thanks. Boom. Hold on, bro. Three today. Eight pounds, five ounces. Get them, Duncan. Thank you, buddy. Yes, sir. Somebody said there was a tournament today. I think I was entered in it, but I didn't realize that I needed to catch bass. That's how I feel right now. And I'm being funny, because I really just want to beat my head against the steering wheel on camera. It was like, I, I've had bad days on the water, and I've had days where I didn't catch what I think I would catch, or lose them, or whatever. But I didn't lose them today. I didn't um, have a big one I missed. It was just crazy. like line breaking on cast, rods tangled up, boat just hating me, <laughs> tripping, falling down. It's a wonder we didn't get struck by light. That's what I'm trying to say. But I had a stretch of bed and fish I was planning on starting on and the water had gotten dirty in there. I couldn't see them and I, I thought I could catch 15 pounds off of them. And then it just kind of, that was at 6.45, 7 o'clock and it just kind of steamrolled from there all freaking day. And right up to the last minute, and I, I got fortunate to catch the three I caught. It didn't weigh a limit at Champlain. So one of the uh, best lakes in the world. I don't know. It's been kicking my butt all week, and it continued to do it today. Today was the worst day since I've been here, though. So one more day of the tour season for me, no cup. And uh, really and truly, as bad as I hate to say it, we got to be in the uh, top 100 cumulative points for the last two years. And I've dug myself a little bit of a hole. So, hoping to catch some tomorrow, that way we can re-qualify for next year. Traveling Circus is uh, let down and tired. Well, Austin was messing with a GoPro. It's a nice two pounder. But we got skunk out of the boat. Day two, large mouth on my little speed crawl. Ah. I'll be honest with you, I wouldn't want me setting the hook on me. I'll just tell you that much. Especially taking out days one worth of uh, aggression to my face. 
All right, we got one, Austin. Only uh, 26 more pounds to go to get a check. Just missed one on that dang chatter bird. Damn small now. Freaking seriously. Little guy. Number four. Oh cutie. Maybe it's a big small male. It looked dark in the water. Maybe it's a big small male. On the bed, maybe that's the damn male. I don't know. Oh boy. This is one of the dumber things I've ever done. <laughs> Not pretty but effective. <laughs> All because she chased out a dot gum glide bait bigger than her. <laughs> no. In the mouth, barely fell out. Golly bomb, oh pretty small mouth right there, buddy. Not as big as I thought, but that's it. All she wrote 2019 FLW tour season for me is over. Started the long, long emphasis on long <laughs> 19 hour drive home. It was a rough one. It's without a doubt the roughest FLW I've ever fished in four years. Uh, couldn't do anything right, couldn't figure anything out. Had a decent practice, had a game plan, and it all went out the window by about 11 o'clock on the first day of the tournament and was never caught back up. I had a better day today, but still only caught right at 12 pounds. and. You know, in a place where 15 pounds is no good, that's just, it stinks. It uh, was not the way I wanted to end the year, especially after coming off a, a really good finish at Chickamauga. I was feeling really good, really expected to catch them in Champlain. I love that place. And so it's a tough one to swallow all the way around. I'm, I'm embarrassed because, you know, you put yourself out there, you want to do as good as you can. I put so much time into this, work as hard as I can, spend time away from home, you know, miss things in your kid's life and, 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 and uh, you know, with your wife. And it's it's a sacrifice. And, and when you come up short, and, and I have, you know, four out of seven tournaments this year, I came up short. And it just, it, it, it drains you. So. I'm mentally, mentally beat right now. I'm, I'm uh, physically beat and I'm ready to get home. And, and I, got a, I got a week at home. It's my birthday next week, 4th of July. Just gonna not think about bass fishing for a few days. And then I gotta go to ICAST and uh, down in Orlando, work for some sponsors, work for TH Marine down there. So gotta turn around and get right back into it. But. Hoping I, I squeaked out a requalification. This is the worst year I've ever had on tour. 
They're only taking the top 100 back next year. We got a two year average from last year and this year put together to make up a top 100 for the field next year. Hoping I slid in there. I think I did, but it's gonna be really close and want another shot at them in 2020. I always wanna, you know, get back out there and see what you can do. But the traveling circus has been really fun. Me and my boy Austin have had a really good time and um, I, I'm real, proud that everybody liked it, that everybody watched, and uh, more to come. Thank y'all.